Students at NTID are bringing your favorite fairy tale characters to life at a play called Fairy Tale Courtroom. <laughs> All right, so the concept of the play, it's pretty unique. But the way the lines are delivered is just as interesting. And this morning, Ashley is at RIT to tell us all about it. Yes, it's really cool here what they're doing. They're rehearsing right now and waking up very early for us. So it's pretty cool. Look at Snow White and, and the beauty fighting right now. Um, but Joe Fox, you are the director of this. Uh, tell everybody what this is about and explain to them what we're seeing. It's about, it's an adaptation of a comedy called Fairy Tale Courtroom. And in the first act, it's focused on the people versus the big bad wolf. <laughs> and the second act is focused on the witch. And the first act is more of the, the character is being sworn in. We have the three little pigs. We have the granny. We have Little Red Riding Hood. We have the boy who cried wolf. And in the second act, we have the evil witch. <laughs> So Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and the Prince Charming are all just kind of going at each other. Who did this? And they all go against the witch. Yeah, and this is very unique. You're very diverse, and, it's, and, and we're signing and we're talking at the same time. How interesting was this for you to direct your first, your directing debut? This is my first time directing for the theater. And at, this, and at the moment, I was thinking to myself, mm, I need more diversity, more color, if you will. So the people that I cast, they are all diverse. They're all different in their own way. So I was very proud of that. And I wanted to show I a wish. that the theater has more access. We have ASL. We have tactile sign language an interpreter for tactile sign language, PSC. We have everything so that way the audience can see, so they can see what's going on in the courtroom. So everything is more accessible for them. That's why we have the closed captioning. If the people don't really understand sign language, then they can go ahead and look at the captioning. That's awesome. That's, and we're going to be talking with uh, some of the actors. Some of this is their first time performing here. So we're going to be talking with some of them uh, coming up throughout the morning. All right, Ashley, thank you. Let's turn now to uh, imagining the big bad wolf and the wicked witch standing trial, and you get to decide whether they're innocent or guilty. It's the premise of a play students at RIT's NTID are putting on this week, and while the concept of including the audience is unique, the way the lines are delivered is just as interesting. Ashley Doris Bacher is with them this morning. Fairy tale court is going on. It is in session, Norma, that is right. And we are with Beauty right now. You play Beauty Rebecca. Talk a little bit about being in this play. Well, so far it's been a lot of fun, a lot of work, but I've met a lot of new people. It's been a really great experience for me. Yeah, and now there's um, signing going on as well as speaking going on. Um, how has that been for you? Um, well, I voice for the DA, so it's sort of weird going from voicing someone who's signing to going on stage myself and signing, but it's... It's a lot of fun, as I said before. Yeah, what made you want to be a part of this? Well, I originally didn't, but then um, my teachers and parents told me to do it, so I did it, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, and now what, what, why did they want you to do this? What was it just, have you, do you have, you have experience with sign language? I do, my whole family and stuff, but um, they wanted me to do it because I'm very shy, and they wanted me to get out and do things. And now you're on live television, so you're like, thanks, Mom and Dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's a unique experience and a unique play. What would you say to the folks at home watching to get them to come and see you guys? I'd say this is sort of a one-time thing. There are a lot of, there's a lot of variety in this cast, and it's, it's really fun, and if you miss it, you miss it, but it's... It's really great. Yeah, and those days, remind everybody when they can come see you guys and where. April 1st and March 30th and 31st on, at 7.30 and April 2nd at 2 in the afternoon here, 1510 Lab Theater at NTID. And this is in the uh, LBJ Hall here on campus. 
And it's free to come out and watch, correct? Yes, it's first come, first serve because the room capacity is 60. Yeah, but it's a unique experience too here, right? It's kind of a, a tight little co cozy to get, you're getting with. It's a cool interactive thing too. It most definitely is, yeah. The audience is really close to the cast. Yeah, which it's good because they're the jury. Yeah. <laughs> so they need to be. Now, I think we've got a scene that we can show them, right? We can have a scene. We can have them come in, and we'll, sh and we'll show you a scene so you can guys can get a look at what it's like. <laughs> I think we're ready. Yes. Um. The jury will now decide that the witch is guilty. False! You'll regret this for the rest of your lives. What kind of a kangaroo court is this? I'll cast a spell on you all. Double, double toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Abracadabra and alakazoo. I now cast a spell on all of you. <laughs> no! 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 Don't worry. She won't be out for hundreds of years. Thank you for attending Fairy Tale Courtroom, and thank you for helping us to stamp out crime. Pretty cool stuff you guys are doing here. Thank you for coming. Bye. <laughs> Can the witch come back real quick so we can I talk to her? <laughs> That's a pretty dramatic exit you've got. It is. And you were telling me we've got two different um, outcomes depending on what they think, but you want to do that one. Yeah, I find that this one's a lot more fun than uh, The Innocent. The Innocent's just me kind of being like, thank you, thank you so much for coming. And <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, you know, I won't do anything evil from now on. But this is, as you can saw, as you saw, it was a bit more dramatic and fun. Yeah. And what made you want to be a part of this? Um, actually, I do perform I used I did dance for a while and I did it when I came here and so this is my third year here and I wanted to try a bit something a bit different and I did do theater in um, high school so I was like I should maybe try going back to it and so I found out about this play and I was like maybe I should just audition and see what happens yeah. and I got in how's the experience been it's been really fun it's been a great it's been a different experience because I don't know any sign language myself so it's it's been a great learning experience as well I've like picked up a few words here and there and it's it's been fun yeah yeah and you guys can all check it out you heard those dates March 30th through April 2nd we will have all the dates on our website but as you can see it's pretty cool stuff going on here this morning awesome thank you so much Ashley great to see those students and and the fact that they're balancing their academics with their love of theater as well. Students at NTID are bringing your favorite fairy tale characters to life in a play they're performing this week called Fairy Tale Courtroom. It sounds like a cute concept. <laughs> Using different forms of sign language while at the same time speaking the lines, the cast represents just how diverse the university and institute for the deaf are. And this morning, Ashley Dorisbacher learning all about the play and how you can actually be a part of the show. Yeah, the uh, audience is the jury, so you can decide the fate of the Wicked Witch, who's behind me, and the Big Bad Wolf, uh, who is to my right. I had to think about my rights and my lefts there for a second. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. They've rehearsed both ways, so the jury, if they decide innocent or guilty, they know the outcome for both. But this is um, just a small part of the bigger program here for uh, the NTID, you guys have an awesome, awesome, pro you are the director, Joseph Fox, but you guys have an awesome program here at, at NTID. Um, talk a little bit about it. Well, NTID, Performing Arts, this program has been running for the last 45 plus years. And this is a very special in institution on the RIT campus, we're one of nine. This is deaf in hearing, hard of hearing, all the different types of students come here and we collaborate with each other to make it very special. We also did to make this show especially beautiful. So the deaf and hearing audience can see what's going on, that there are deaf, deaf actors on the stage. So that way they can know, oh, it's beautifully signed, the lights are great, the set's great, everything's captioned. 
So that's what we want the audience to feel, that satisfaction that there's even accessibility when they come into the theater. The deaf students who do attend want to learn. And they take classes and courses, and we do have a lot of courses here. We have dance, we have the painting courses, makeup, and also we have the intro to performing arts classes. So they can learn about everything, how to run a stage, what goes on backstage and the front of the stage. And so it helps the actors and our deaf students to learn. We also teach them how to build because they're the ones that build the set, how to run and set lights, how to hang them, what color looks good, what gels to use. So basically everything that they will learn, they'll learn in this lab. I was just going to say, this theater is a very interesting theater for learning as well. Can you explain to folks? It looks a little smaller at home right now, but there's a reason for that, and it's a unique theater. Can you explain to folks why that is? This is a very unique theater because it is smaller, and it's an experimental lab theater. It's more hands-on. So when the students come in here, they learn how to hang the lights and they learn how to paint and decorate the floors. It's very in-depth and it's very detailed. So the teachers here, they give instruction and they use this as a classroom as well. So when everyone is learning, they're learning so much here. What they do is they go out into our larger theater, which is the Panera. Mm -hmm. So that way they have the experience here, they can transfer it to there and they'll know what to do. And the judge over here, are you, this is your first time, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you want to do this again? Oh, yes. I'm falling in love with this play. This is my home. <laughs> so, yes. We talked a little bit earlier. You love to dance, and you've been involved in dance. Um, but this was your first play. What, is, what has made it so special for you? What do you like about this? Because I realized that I want to show who I am and that I can start expressing myself to other people and how I, how I identify myself to other people. And I'm very happy with who I am and I love to laugh and I cry and I do everything and that's what we're showing here. I love the action, I like to do that. So I'm connected to all of that. And the cast here, it's a very diverse group. Um, how has that been? I'm sure that makes it even more fun. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, we all feel like a family. Hearing, deaf, hard of hearing, we're family here. And since the first day I got in this theater, I was a little shy, but I started to open up and yeah, this is family. It, 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 how can you not smile when you're here at the show, the 30th through March 30th through April 2nd? Oh my gosh, we're getting into a new month. Uh, all those dates and all the information will be up on our website uh, later today, but no reason not to come down and check this out. Yeah. This has been so cool this morning. Yeah. Wow, Ashley, I'm just blown away. What a neat production.